Oscars have just put out a, a number of the short list for a number of the categories that have been coming out, but there is one real big thing missing, and that is the topic of today's Mint Mobile Hotline Question of the Day. Listen, guys, if you've got a topic for our show and you'd like to hear your voice on our show, go ahead and call our Mint Mobile hotline anytime, 24 hours a day at 951-268-4259. And today is specifically about a very big glaring omission from one of the Oscar shortlists. Check it out. Hey, guys. It's Dan from Queens, New York. Just wanted to say that I think it's time we take out our pitchforks because the Oscars have just released the shortlist for a couple of different categories, including sound and music. And original song was one of those categories. And guess what was not nominated? Peaches from the Super Mario movie. I honestly thought this was a lock for at least a nomination and possibly even a win. So just wanted to get your guys' thoughts on this. Thanks and bring on the filthy. All right, Dan, thanks a lot for calling that in, man. And this is a category for me that, quite frankly, honestly, I would be totally fine if the Oscars just cut as a category, honestly. Like, could because, and hear me out. When you're nominating someone who's like best supporting actor, they're literally in the movie for 15, 20, 25, 45 minutes of the film. When you're talking about best director, you're talking about somebody who has his hands on the entire runtime of that film. When you're talking about a cinematographer, you're talking about somebody who has influence over every single frame that she shoots in that movie. Best song? Something that plays for 30 seconds to 90 seconds, and then it's gone. And most of the time, doesn't even have anything to do with the movie. But I do admit that sometimes the best moments at the Oscars are the best song performances too. But, but so here's the thing, the Academy Awards released their short list for a couple of secondary categories, you know, the best short documentary, uh, best short live action, stuff like that. But, but amongst those short lists that they put out was best original song. Here are the short list. The nominees will come from this short list. It never went away from American symphony. Dear Alien from Asteroid City, Dance the Night from Barbie, I'm Just Ken from Barbie, and What Was I Made For from Barbie, Keep It Moving from Color Purple, Superpower from Color Purple, uh, Fire, The Fire Inside from Flame and Hot. You know what? I really like that movie. I'm glad it's getting a little bit of Oscar love. I don't know what else it could be nominated for, but I'm kind of glad it's getting <laughs> a little bit of Oscar love. Um, High Life. Uh, meet in the middle, catch me, uh, can't catch me now. Uh, by the way, very good song in that movie. Can't catch me now from the hunger games and, uh, was a Z I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right from killers of flower moon, quiet eyes road to freedom. And, uh, am I dreaming? Which by the way, is probably in general, my favorite song on this list. It's a great song from Metro Boomin. Um, fabulous, fabulous, fab I, I like thump it about at least four times a week as I'm driving in my car. I love this song. But Jack Black's Peaches is not on this list. I'm glad to see I'm Just Ken. I'm on the list. But let me make an argument here. And, and by the way, I want to remind everybody, it is not the whole Academy that puts up the nominations for this category. It's specifically the music branch like musicians are the ones who put forward the short list and ultimately the nominees for this category. Just like it's the actors who put forward the actor nominations, directors put forward the director nominations. So this isn't just the Academy in general. This is the, the people in the music branch. That being said, here's my argument for why I 100% think a song like Peaches should be more considered for something like this than say Dear Alien from Asteroid City or whatever. Not only is Peaches an entertaining part of the movie, it is a song, unlike some other songs, that is actually completely integrated into the movie. It is a part of the movie. It is Bowser singing a song about Peaches. It is... It is a part of the fabric of the film. 
Not some song. A lot of times we see these nominees for best song. It's just the song they take and throw over the end credits. Like, don't get me wrong. I love that Lady Gaga song at the end of Maverick. Round a fly. And I'm flying in my plane. You know, whatever it was, it's, it's fine. It's a great song. I'm not saying it's not. It's a great song. But it's literally just a song they just boop and just make it play over the end credits. I love the Rihanna song that they have playing at the end of Black Panther 2. It's a great song, but it has nothing to do with the movie. It's literally, they just took a song and just plop, just plopped it over the end credits. And that, that gets nominated for an again. This is a song that's actually a part of the film. It is a song that elevates the film. I would make the same argument that I'm Just Ken does the same thing. It is an integral part of the movie. It is a part of the fabric of the film. And it's a song that actually elevates the film, unlike a lot of these songs that get nominations. That's just some song, and let's just plop it on the end credits as the credits roll. That has nothing to do with the rest of the movie. It is a fun song it is a delightful song it's wildly original it's very creative and it's actually a part a functional part of the movie <clears throat> and so while i will often defend different academy branches for deciding not to put something up on a list like hey they know best like the visual effects people decided not to put oppenheimer on the best visual effects shortlist you know what you're the visual effects people. I'll defend their decision not to put it up there. Maybe I would have put it there. Maybe I wouldn't, whatever. That's fine. But I think this one is a glaring omission. And I think if for no other reason, because of the nature of the song, it's actually a part of the movie when a lot of the songs over the years are just not. They're just not. So, and I'll tell you what, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised that it didn't get this. I really thought that this was something that the Academy voters would have really gravitated towards. Get like Because I had this daydream that at the upcoming Academy Awards, we would literally, we would see Jack Black and Ryan Gosling on stage at the same time, maybe even having this little bit of a song off between like a medley of I'm Just Ken and Peaches going back and forth. It would have been brilliant. Would have brought the house down. I think everybody would have loved it. And more importantly... I think it would have been deserving. I don't know. So, call me surprised. By the way, somebody else, uh, Jonathan brought up a comment here that one of you guys put in a second ago. I'm actually a little bit surprised one or two of the songs from Wonka didn't make it onto the list. Because mm -hmm. some of them are really good. Particularly the Oompa Loompa songs. But anyway, that's a side thing. So, I don't know, guys. That's just me. I thought Peaches should have been on this list. I think there's a strong argument to be made for it. How do you guys feel about it? Maybe you don't think it deserved me on the list. Whatever you guys think, jump into the comments and let me know. Guys, we want to take a moment to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. Give yourself the gift of insane savings this holiday season with Mint Mobile's best wireless deal of the year. Right now, when you switch to Mint Mobile and buy any three-month plan, you'll get another three months for free. That's six months of premium wireless service for the price of three. And Mint Mobile lets you order and activate from home while saving tons on phone plans starting at just $15 a month. Seriously, I can't think of a better gift than turning an overpriced wireless bill into to just $15 a month with Mint Mobile. I've told you guys many times since switching to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than a third on my mobile service plan with Mint than I was on the previous big carrier who was my provider. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily and effortlessly with eSIM. So again, for a limited time, buy any three-month Mint Mobile plan and get three more months free by going to mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campia Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.